welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new ColourPop and Laura Lee Los Angeles collaboration that recently came out and this was a collab with No Kill LA. So all of the profits for these particular products go straight to No Kill LA. ColourPop does not make any money and Laura does not make any money. So I think it's a very honorable set. I'm going to show you guys how to get this makeup look using all of the products in the collection and I also have swatches of the other two lipsticks. So I'm going to jump into that and then we'll talk a little bit more about the products. So the very first thing I want to say is that I just woke up, which is why my eyes probably look a little bit puffy and also that I'm not sleeping well. So that's another reason that I was puffy and I'm groggy and my voice probably sounds like froggish. Um, if you look over here, that brown thing is a blanket, and this little gray thing right here is my kitty. We shaved him a little bit, and my room is, like, ice cold all the time. I have, like, no heat. I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna start by taking the shade Glitz. This is a really pretty, kind of, like, pinky brownish shade, and I'm gonna take this on a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, but actually I forgot to, um, prime my eyelids gonna do that really quickly. I did already apply a coat of mascara to my eyelashes because I'm not gonna be wearing falsies and now I'm gonna go in with that shade that I said. This again is the shade Glitz. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna blend this into my crease. It's really, whoa, it's super pigmented. <laughs> So the next shade that I'm going to use is this one right here. This is the shade Shiny, and this is a satin, so it does have a little tiny bit of glitter in there. I'm going to use the same brush and just take a tiny bit of this and add it to the outer crease. Pump up that red factor. And I will go back in and add a little more of this. Um, once I get my lid shade on. I really like these tones. I feel like they're really, really pretty and I don't have a lot of shades that I, I wear like this. And I really like that the quad came like in a set of colors that go together. We can talk about this later. It's not important right now. This is just the tutorial. So now I'm gonna take the shade Heine. This is really pretty color. I'm gonna use this all over my eyelid. I'm gonna try it first with a brush but I feel like it's gonna apply best with my fingers. Yeah not gonna work with brush. That's okay, not a problem for me. I apply most color pop shadows with my finger. Look at that color, it's really pretty. So I'm just pulling it all over my entire eyelid. This is a beautiful shade. I like it because it's fiery, but it's not too orangey. And now I'm going to go back in with that darker shade that we had. This again is the shade Shiny. And I'm gonna use that same brush that we used and just add this to the outer part of the eye for some definition, pulling it up into the outer crease. And now I'm going to take this color. This color is absolutely beautiful. I've already used it. Uh, this is the shade Ritz. Take it on my pinky. I'm going to pop it into my inner corner. See how pretty that is? It's not really like picking up, I feel like, as pretty as it is on camera. But when I do the swatches, you'll see how pretty it is. So I'm going to just clean up under my eye because I got glitter down there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll be right back to show you the finished eye look. So now I'm going to go in with that first color. This is Glitz and I'm going to take this on a pencil brush. This is the crown. The, the like label has totally come off but this is the crown double-sided like crease brush. I think that's what it was called. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorite brushes, and it's really great for ColourPop shadows. And I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that darker reddish-brown shade. This is Shiny. Every time I hear the word Shiny, I think of that. What's his name? Tomatoa? Is that his name? Like, a little five-year-old would be able to tell me. But that little, that guy from Moana. Tomatoa has a been scram. I was a drab little crab once. But I know you can be happy as a clam, cause I'm beautiful baby, I totally got all of those ways wrong. I'm adding this as well, just to like the most outer portion. Then I'm taking the clean side, the fluffy side, and I'm blending. So now I'm just taking my color cleaner, yeah, my color cleaner makeup brush thing, 
and I'm, I'm taking any product off of this little end that's left on there. And I'm gonna use this and add some more of this sparkly color to my inner corner. Again, this is the shade Ritz. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of my mascara to my lower lashes. I really like these tones. I feel like I don't usually go with tones that are this reddish, but I really, really like them. I think this is a really pretty holiday look. Like, I don't know if that was her intention. I don't think it was, but I think it's a really nice holiday makeup. If you guys are interested in all of the other makeup that I have on my face, not that I have a ton, <laughs> not at all, but if you are interested, I will be sure to list that down below. And for my lipstick today, I'm going to be using the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Bam. This is the darkest one. It's a really pretty color. I already swatched it um, when I got it. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. So this is the eyeshadow quad, and this retails for $18. So you're saving, I think, $2 because each shadow is like 5 and I'm going to show you all of the shadows that come in the collection. So the very first one is the shade Glitz. This is what Glitz looks like. It's a very pretty, like, muted pinky tone. It's, it's beautiful. I adore it. I think it's really, really pretty. I wasn't thinking that I was going to like it as much as I do, but I'm very happy with the actual color. The next shade that we have is the shade Shiny. And this is a satin. The last one was a matte, but this one is a satin, so that means there are a few little specks of glitter throughout it. But depending on how you want to use this product, it's going to look differently. Like on my eyes today, it looks like a matte because I just used a little bit and blended it out. But if you were probably to pack this on, you would see a little bit more of that glittery payoff. So this is just a really pretty reddish brown shade. It's definitely very red. It's definitely very, very warm, but it's, it's a really pretty definer color. And I think with all the other shades in this quad, it really works. The next color we have is Heine, and this is kind of like the star of the show. I don't know how one describes this color, honestly. It's so, like, I don't know. It pulls so different, I feel like. Like, on my eyes, I feel like it looks more red and more pink, and, like, the glitter is crazy. But when I just washed it on my hand, it kind of looks more orangey. But I feel like it's one of those colors that you need to use to actually be able to see, like, what it's going to look like. Degaff is like that for me. Like, it feels like a different color on my hand than on my eye. So, yeah, I think... There are certain color pop shadows that do feel that way, but this color is absolutely beautiful. I love it on the lid shade. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful, like, I don't know. I think my eyes look so pretty. I love this look, and I feel like this is a perfect, like, holiday makeup look. And the last shade in the quad is the shade Ritz, and this is beautiful. It's kind of like, it looks like it's going to be taupey or like silvery, but it's actually kind of just like glitter, depending on how you use it, obviously. If you applied a lot of this to one spot, you definitely are going to get that, like, color payoff of the, of the base but I feel like in general you can just use as a glitter by dipping your finger into it and kind of dabbing I used it in another tutorial that's going to be coming soon and I have this on in my inner corners today I feel like you can't really tell how like crazy popping that is but it's popping it's popping it's popping so these are the three lip colors that come in the lip bundle, and this bundle retails for $15, and you're getting, you know, a discount off of the lips because they are $6 each. So she came out with an ultra glossy lip, an ultra metallic lip, and a ultra satin lip. So ultra satins are the most comfortable formula, I feel like, and I also think that the formula for the ultra metallics has really changed. This one is very, very smooth. Some of the other ones, I bought them, like, immediately as soon as they came out. Those are a little bit more chunky a little more chunky monkey so um, I will say that they are a little bit smoother in the event that you're like unsure about them because you weren't sure about how you felt about the formula then I definitely say that the formula is a lot better than it used to be so we are going to talk about each color I have swatches on my lips for you guys and I'm also going to try and do some little hand swatches but the first shade the ultra glossy lip is in the shade wham and this color is beautiful it's kind of just like I don't know it's kind of like a champagne gold and just like tons of glitter so it's a very sheer base but there's so much glitter in it and it's really really pretty on the lips I feel like I'm not sure how I feel about it 
on me because I'm not really like a glittery person for my lipstick but it might be something that I try a few times and have to get used to because I really love the Desi X Katie lip gloss that has tons of glitter in it but I feel like it's something that I just have to try out a few times and kind of get used to before I like really like it because like I said that's how I felt about the Desi X Katie one so that is the first shade the second one is the color glam and this is the ultra metallic lippy and this one is really beautiful um I don't know how I feel about it on my skin tone I want to say that I would look better in it when I'm tan when I'm like at my tannest I feel like it would look really pretty on me but I'm not positive how I feel about it right now this is kind of like a rose gold lipstick that's the best way that I would describe it it is very rose gold and it is very metallic it is super super beautiful and the formula is very very smooth and very very comfortable it is way better than the old ultra metallics used to be when they like first launched and the last color that we have is the shade BAM and this is the color on my lips right now it's a little bit messy because I did like my other lip swatches before and I feel like anytime that I do that I get super messy so I really love this color I think it's a beautiful beautiful deep burgundy shade um, I recently did a liquid lipstick video where I talked about liquid lipsticks and their staying power and how they're like my favorite liquid lipsticks and I wonder if this one is gonna make the list for maybe like a next year a part two it definitely won't be as long I'll be sure to link that video in case you're looking for some holiday lipsticks that are gonna last a really long time on your mouth but yeah this color is really really pretty and I really really love how deep and burgundy it is but it's not like blackened it's not like super blackened to the point where it looks like really really dark I really enjoy that so when you want to ask me what I think of the collection I really really like it and as I said all of the proceeds do go to no kill LA and I don't live in LA so the shelter doesn't really affect me but I really do like hate that there are like kill shelters I think that's like I don't I let's not talk about it I just it just bothers me that there are kill shelters I know people will comment and respond and be like well we can't just let there be a billion animals on the planet and I'm like why not I like them better than people so you can't win that argument with me let's just not talk about it and Laura Lee a lot of people hate Laura Lee or love Laura Lee there's kind of like no in between and if you don't know who Laura Lee is I will be sure to link her channel down below so you guys can go and check her out um she's really funny I feel like and I feel like she's like a really kind hearted person so I genuinely like her she reminds me a lot of Carly Bible in the sense that she's very conscious of the environment and she cares a lot about other people so um when I look at this collection I say that there are some shades that I'm probably not gonna wear that often and those are lip colors so if I didn't have the money to purchase the whole bundle at the time I probably would have been fine just buying this burgundy one but the thing is that the money doesn't go in anybody's pocket it goes to a good a very 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 good cause and I feel like even though I might not wear these two colors, I can give them to a family member or a friend who would wear these colors and like that's okay to me because I feel like my money went to a good cause. Like it didn't just go uh, like more money in ColourPop's pocket, you know what I mean? Which like 90% of my money has gone to ColourPop anyway. I think if you only have $6 and you want to buy one of these lipsticks and you want to support the cause, then I say go with the red one. But if you do have the $18, buy the whole lip bundle, give them to a friend, give some of them as Christmas presents, just wrap them, don't use them and you'll know that your money was going to a great like an awesome awesome cause as for the eyeshadows can I lift all of them up at once probably not but as for these guys I think they're all really really nice eyeshadows um, I think Colourpop makes some of the best single eyeshadows they're super super affordable and of course if there's a specific eyeshadow in here that you don't plan on using so you don't use glitter or you won't use this like orangey red shade give it away as a Christmas gift because the the price that you're paying for this little quad is only uh, eight dollars and otherwise it would have cost you 20 to buy all four of these shades but I think that the eyeshadows are totally worth the money the whole set is really nice because it creates like a look like together the colors they just go together you know they go together I feel like with the Kathleen Lace quads they didn't really go together which doesn't bother me but I feel like I couldn't create like an entire look with just the quad but I feel like you can do that with this quad which is really really awesome it's a really awesome fact so that is my thoughts on the collection I really really enjoy the collection so yeah that is the end of this video I hope that you guys liked it I will be sure to link all the information for the ColourPop products down below if you guys want to subscribe to my channel hit that little button right there right now and if you want to see my latest video click right there I'm Alexis and I'll see you next time bye